Here we're going to see a demonstration of a student's extra credit project. It's a circuit that visually indicates heart communications for a smart transmitter. And here to demonstrate it, we have the circuit the student built. We have a multimeter that's going to be used to measure the heart signals, the AC millivolt signals that the heart produces. We have a heart communicator right here. We also have a Rosemount 3051 pressure transmitter that is smart and communicates with the heart protocol. Now as we know, the heart protocol is a superimposed frequency shift keyed AC signal that rides on top of the same two wires as the 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal. So when this communicator is talking to the transmitter and the transmitter replies back, we'll see bursts of AC millivoltage on those two wires. The purpose of this circuit is to detect those bursts of AC millivoltage and to light up the LED when they happen. So you see light on the LED that tells you communication is taking place. We will fire up the communicator here. This will take a few moments to boot. And as it does so, if we patiently wait over here, we'll see the LED blink a few times as the communicator goes through its power-up cycle and begins to communicate with the transmitter. There we see a couple blinks, and then occasionally we see bursts of AC millivoltage on the fluke meter, which also verifies that we have communication. So over here, I'm going to push the proceed button. Now I'm going to push the process variable button. This will place the communicator into a mode where it continually pulls the transmitter for process variable information. And every time you see that little symbol pop up on the screen for the communicator, it looks like a sent symbol. That means it's communicating heart data. So that means we should have a continuous train of pulses that we can see on the LED. Blinking. There it is. And on the Fluke multimeter as it measures AC millivolts. So we have a very simple visual indication of the heart communications with this circuit. The circuit itself is quite simple. It's nothing more than a single transistor, uh, a 2N2222. We've got a couple resistors here for biasing and amplification. We have a dropping resistor for the LED, and then we have a coupling capacitor. Now the coupling capacitor makes it so the transistor only gets turned on when it sees those bursts of AC signal, a plain old DC uh, bias will not work to continually turn on the light. It has to be bursts of AC. You'll also notice this circuit right here is built to work off the same loop power as the transmitter itself. So it does not require any additional power supply, which is a very nice feature. So if a person wanted to, they could take this same circuit right here, they could package it on a printed circuit board and encapsulate it to protect it from the elements, and then they could have this in a, a small enclosure with two wires coming out, polarity marked, to go to the heart circuit, and it would give you a visual indication of the heart communications. So very neat extra credit project, a neat concept, that's a great illustration of how heart communications work.